Hello everybody, this is Avcor back with some more Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis content. Sorry for the long hiatus. I was actually doing schoolwork and it's been really tough. But I am so glad that the content has ramped up and it's getting better. And I'm really excited about that. But let's talk about this new banner. This is going to be in two parts because I think it's better that way. So we'll talk about the first piece of this banner. And that is Zack himself. When we look at Zack, we're looking at a shift in the norm to an extent where Zack is actually getting attention. Do I think it's the best? Do I think he has the best weapon on this banner? The answer is no. But let's go into why I think that is the case. So first off, let's look at the costume itself. I think it warrants attention. When you look at this costume and the weapon and the, how it comes together, it's really good. I mean, this is kind of reminds me of Vayne. If you played Final Fantasy XII, that's what it reminds me of. This is an excellent costume. I like it. Excuse me. Like the last two costumes that this guy's gotten have been really good and they're continuing the trend. So let's look at the costume itself. Boost HP is always good. Along with Arcanum, that's what you're looking for. Buff and debuff extension is actually really good. I do think that Red 13 was cucked on that because he only got debuff extension, which is really bollocks. But anyway, this is really good. Do I think that it is good for the weapon? I'm going to answer that in a couple of minutes. But overall, this is a really great costume and it does pair well with some of his other weapons. So as far as that goes, really good. Ceremonial Sword has been overhyped to an extent. I don't think it is as good as people say, but I don't think it's bad. So let's look at it as a one-off. Say you accidentally get this weapon and you say, hey, I got this weapon. This is not bad. 700 damage is actually the same amount of damage that you get on Cloud's Murasame. So that's a good thing. 24 points of boost to attack with boost physical ability potency is kind of what makes the Dane Sword good. So in that respect, I think it is serviceable. The biggest problem I have with this weapon is the ATB cost. I think the ATB cost is way too high. Like when you look at Tifa's weapon, we're going to check it out in a second. You're going to realize there are a lot of mechanics in Tifa's weapon that makes it better than this weapon. Some people will argue against that. They've shown you graphs about how many 100 turns which weapon would do more damage but when you look at ATB and ATB management you're trying to get the most out of these little bars and I just think that what they did with Zidane Sword and with Tifa's new Zangan Fist it's just better I mean when you have 4 ATB you have 3 ATB left and when you use this weapon you only have 1 ATB left that's okay if it's healing. If you're using ATB at 5 points for healing, that's understandable because you're locked in the role as a healer. You're supporting the team. But when you do this, you limit your options as a DPS. So you cast Ceremonial Slice. Then you have to wait so many seconds in order to get your bars back. But do you wait to do another Ceremonial Slice? That's the question. People will say, like, once you hit 1,400, but I don't think so. And the attack, physical attack potency high is really good. That's for yourself. But Emirates Claws does a better job of that. And as far as our abilities go, it's good. No problems there. Boost physical attack, boost physical ability potency on point. There's no complaints there. It's just the ATB cost that kills this weapon 
for me because when you manage ATB in a real fight, if you're going against Bahamu, if you're going against Shiva, or if you're going against Ramu, or you're going against Sephiroth, that's a big issue because you don't always want to attack in those battles. Say if you had Cloud, for instance, you'll want to use his magic debuff. I mean magic buff. So, like I said, that is not that is not cool for me. I'm sorry, that's a big killer for me. Siju Boost Circle is really good. Um, boost P attack and boost P attack. Solid abilities. Solid support material. That's really good. Let's go to Tifa and I'm going to show you why Tifa's weapon is better. And it's going to be very apparent really fast. So let's go to Guide Gloves. I have this on my free to play account so I've already been testing it out. So when you get here, you get more boost physical ability potency, which is more important. And you're getting 1,300 physical non-elemental damage for 4 ATB. I mean, it's 100 points of damage difference, and I would sacrifice that 100 points of damage for 4 ATB all the time. Support material, it gets better right here. You get fire boost, and you get siege boost, and you get P attack, so you're getting way more out of this than you're getting out of Zack's weapon. But it's a crossover weapon, right? That's, that's, it's a crossover weapon. But think about this. Why would you want this costume with this weapon? Because if you're using it all the time, that's not a big concern. And if you're going to cast this weapon and sacrifice 5 ATB, don't you want to get the maximum amount of ATB by attacking again? Because the physical potency high actually will work in conjunction with boost P attack and boost physical ability potency. If you're hitting this number, you want to maximize that as much as possible. And that's the only way to do it. So I don't think this costume really serves this purpose. I really think his Halloween costume is a little better. And even more important, I think that the costume that he gets from the Christmas banner, which I have, I'll show you, I think is better. Let's do the co op. Yeah, I have that at. OB6. It's, it's a really good weapon. This is better for what you're trying to do with Zack. If you have Holiday Suit, then I think this is actually worth your time. If you have Holiday Suit, I think this is worth your time. This weapon is worth your time if you have Holiday Suit. No questions asked. No questions asked. If you have Holiday Suit, then... I really think you should summon for it, honestly. But it depends on what costumes you have. Do I think that you should summon for this costume? Heck no, man. Heck no. The costume I have, because I am going to summon for Matt's weapon, I think is perfect for this weapon. So if I get this weapon while I'm trying to get Matt's weapon, all the better, but I'm not looking for it. I'm just looking to get a one-off of Matt's weapon and then I'm done. But I do think if you're a Zack main, then this is the weapon for you. Obviously, you're going to summon for it since you made Zack your main and you saved up your crystal for a banner like this. So I think it's okay. For newer players, absolutely not. This is absolutely not the banner for you to summon on. This is a very hard skip. Very hard skip. Don't even touch it. And if you're a well, I honestly, unless you're a Zack main, I don't really think you should even bother with it. Because we have other banners on the way. And Ceremonial Slice may be good as an attack for some, but for me, I, I just don't think so. With my experience in playing this game, ATB is king, and you sacking your ATB and it's only doing an attack and it's not helping anybody else but the character himself no no i don't i don't want to tear down the banner itself because it is a good weapon but some people are over hyping its power because if you use the dane sword or 
if you use guide gloves which I've been using on the FTP account yeah 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 this is this is a hard pass but anyways if you like my content hit the like share subscribe button I'll get back to you have a great one and laters